out of critical self-reflection. You just go into a positive, like a deeper understanding. A more intentional thought process. A more intentional stepping and footing in life. What if you shift that? Because that shift will allow you to also end with that conclusion when it comes to your relationships. You run through things with a fine-tooth comb. Sometimes I have to critically think it. But is it really necessary to end it in a negative? Well, if you end it in a deeper understanding. I just recently did this. When I ran through things with a fine tooth comb, I I, I was less angry because I realized and understood things a little better. And if you don't know how to critically self reflect, that's fine. Life always has a moment to learn from, more time to grow from, more space to evolve. So if you got to listen to this podcast again and again, it's not bad. Part of critical reflection, some questions that you can ask yourself are, What am I thinking and feeling? What am I thinking and feeling? Why am I thinking and feeling this way? Why am I thinking and feeling this way? How am I communicating? Am I assertive, aggressive, passive? How am I communicating? How are my inner thoughts and feelings affecting my communication behavior? Is it affecting my tone, my delivery, the timing? The confidence level? The precision? Of my communication. The scattered. Thoughts. How. And then lastly. How can I improve my thoughts. Feelings and communication behavior. How can I improve it. Critical. Critical self-reflection. And it's not ending things in a bad way all the time. And we got to get out of that habit. Because from that habit of always critical through critical self-reflection, while we tearing ourselves down, it becomes even more easier to tear, tear people down. There's a strong theory that people that walk around tearing down everybody is because they done tore down initially themselves. And the battle that you think they're fighting with other people is the battle that they're really fighting. The biggest fight is with themselves. Not being comfortable to accept their shortcomings, their hangups, all that they're not, along with all that they are. Being self-aware. Being self-aware. And during this time where some of us don't have no jobs or some of us are at home or some of us are separated from social activities, this is the time. This is the time to build your self-awareness, to grow in your self-awareness, to start making it a habit of stepping out and understanding 
why, the why, the why. And then as you move through it, understanding your social comparisons and why you lean more to the negative than the positive or why you should lean more to the positive instead of the negative. And then lastly, doing some critical self-reflection and not always making it into the negative. Come on, shake yourself. Hold up. Because that is a learned behavior sometimes, always thinking negative. What about coming to the point where you think positive after you analyze something? That's not a bad thing. And that might have a lot to do with you taking a negative connotation off of critical self-reflection. This this right here not they say I don't know thyself and covering the first aspect self awareness was amazing. It was amazing because as you go through the adjustment of this world with COVID being a part of it you learn maybe even a new part of you or a part of you that was there but now through this situation it done hiding or it done taken away from you know what they say I do know thyself know thyself know thyself know thyself This concludes the first part of the series. I hope you are challenged to step out of you to learn you and be a third person narrating an eternal assessment of you. Tune in the next episode as we cover the second part, which is self-concept. I'm excited. I'm excited about what will happen with you, how you will shake you to become even better. Because it's just like you are evolving. I am evolving with you. I am learning with you. I am becoming, a, I'm becoming more educated on not only myself but on communications the beginning of interpersonal communication starts with self this closes out this episode of ER emotional response podcast till next time I will talk to you Life Coaching with Ink, Ivory.